decided to walk to the hotel. It's in Battersea, it's about an hour and a half, but we're going to walk down the South Bank. We'll do some touristy things. Look, there's the London Eye. There's Big Ben, there's the Houses of Parliament. Whoa! And then across the way, St Paul's. Shard, just over there. The Oxo Tower, which is the building with the word Oxo on it. Something's going on. It must be a premiere or something. I'll see if I can find out what, but... Okay, so it looks like it's a film premiere for a movie called Sharper. Um, which may or may not be on Apple TV, but it's Julianne Moore, Sebastian Stan kind of vehicle. Um, just going to a, wouldn't say an argument, but, <laughs> but uh, someone asked me what was going on and I said I think it's a Julianne Moore film and somebody just, no, 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 it's a Sebastian Stan film. Well, Julianne Moore, I've got your back. It's a Julianne Moore film. So I couldn't be bothered hanging around to catch a glimpse of Sebastian Stan or Julianne Moore or movie stars in general. If I learned anything from the time I was hanging around the Back to the Future musical waiting for Christopher Lloyd. No point. No point. Plus I'm hungry. Want to eat? But that's the cool thing about London is you never know what you're going to kind of stumble upon. Avengers and stuff. So we're still walking down the Thames, but a really nice indicator of where I need to be is right in front of us. So that's the Battersea Power Station, or the old Battersea Power Station at least. I think it's still called the Battersea Power Station. Um, but our hotel is not a million miles away from there. Lots of runners. So we're staying in, well, first of all, hi everybody. Um, if you're new here, my name's Tony. I stay in hotels and because I got nothing else to do with my life, I review them. So tonight we are staying in the Axiom Park Hotel in Battersea. Um, and I have very high hopes. Very high hopes. Uh, 55 pounds seems a bargain. It's an executive double suite. So it sounds too good to be true. So we're going to find out if it is too good to be true. Just about 25 minutes away. I'm going to try and stick to the river as much as possible because, hey, it's nice. London, Thames. There's the city behind me. Well, it's part of the city. Here's a closer look. So to me, I think those are apartments now. Pretty expensive apartments no doubt well, I've just stumbled upon this so yeah this dude big red man um, and sure sorry. enough his friend the green man. Let's go! Go, go, go! Green man means go. That's fun, right? Look at it go! There you go, press pause now to read all about the slinky end over end. Alright, here's the next light. It's a, it's a washing line. A clothes line. interesting enough I suppose. Whoa! It is impressive the power station. And this piece is called Neighbourhood. And again, get ready with the pause if you want to read all about it. Here we go. From memory. <laughs> Here 
you go. You're welcome. All right, here we are, Axiom Park Hotel. Just gonna snuck up on me. Let's go in and check it out. It seems quite bright. I always think it's a fun thing when they have multiple clocks behind reception to say, we are a global enterprise. That's a good start. Right, that's the reception. Nice friendly cat. Oh, it's a bear. Decoration. Going up to the third floor. Just had to give them a hundred pounds as a pre-authorized payment, which I hate. I hate doing it. But I'm not any issues yet. But one day I will. I hate it. Oh, turn it around. Look at this. That's the view straight off the lift. Oh, denied. So that's quite nice. Bird cage, some fake flowers, and some comfyish looking chairs. Right, let's have a look. Well, I ain't that way. It's 309. Yeah. Behold! Let's take it back a step. Okay, just dump my bag there. But this seems pretty big. So we've got a big massive bed. I have a table which is a nice touch and a couple of chairs. A couple of lamps power on either side of the bed which is awesome I quite like the colors so it's like a green theme going on this is encouraging nice little microwave and a fridge any freebies just some milk and some free ice brilliant some free ice so microwave means that I can go get some Stuff. Oh my god, a toaster. I think in all the times of all the rooms I've been in, that might be the first toaster. Well, there's a kettle, but there's no tea bags or anything. But. Well, I guess I better. I better evacuate. Here's the Okay. I have a dripping aircon. And they clearly know about it because there's a towel on the floor. It's obviously been going on for quite a while. I would imagine because of the state of the door. Okay, I think I'm gonna mention this downstairs because that's not, that's not cool, is it? So 
what I was saying about it being too good to be true. Maybe it is. So those are the freebies, again, just for you. The hotel special. And then some just some green, green flavor. It's not a bad shower head and a clean, clean shower. But that's disappointing because, yeah, look, it's been going on for ages. It's damaged the whole back of the door, which is kind of buzzing. That's not cool, is it? So that's the TV, pretty big TV. From what I understand, it's a smart TV. So it's got apps and things on there. Gonna find any nope, just some coat hangers. Nothing. Nothing. Hmm, there's another kind of discoloration here. Can't see anything that can drip up there though. And the view. You know what? That's not bad. I don't know what it is. Well, there's some colour going on and then obviously further into the distance it's the city oh and a big moon that's okay I'm not happy with that dripping because that's that's obviously gonna keep me up all night We'll see what they say. Um, the bed's pretty comfy though. And well, the last few times I've been saying, yeah, the pillows are good, the pillows are good. And then you go to use them and the pillows are shit. But they feel okay. Um, what a strange hotel. Because this room is, is fine. It's more than fine. It's pretty good for 50 quid. It's a long way out in Battersea, but that dripping can't be... That's not, that's not, that's not cool, is it? So the solution was to just stuff more towels up in the vent. Yeah, genius. Um, but in better news, I found I found the tea bags. Uh, they were simply in a bowl, and I didn't see the bowl. Bogus Nest Cafe again. What's wrong with this picture? So yeah, big old window, one curtain. Look, yeah, there's supposed to be another curtain there, and it isn't. So as it happens, I don't mind that much. But if it was summer, that would be pretty annoying, wouldn't it? And that's the view in the morning. I quite like it. It's like a haze. The last, the last of the sunrise. And the haze of the minus three outside. So that was the stay at the Axiom Park Hotel here in Battersea. A mixed bag, as I've already documented. 
more positive than negative. I suppose it just depends on whether, you know, how far you want the negatives to tip the scales, you know, because let's face it, having some, you know, walking into a bathroom and having a drip constantly fall, you know, from the ceiling isn't cool. Also, it was a bit weird that the receptionist acted like he'd never heard of this before when there's clear damage to the door and there's a towel already on the floor collecting the drops, but whatever. He did He did what he could. Um, there was no, you know, wasn't able to move me to a different room, so I was kind of stuck anyway. So, you know, he did, he did what he could. So I thanked him for that. What are, what are the negatives were there? The curtain, I suppose, that's a bit weird. During the during the summer months when you know sunrise is like 5 a.m. 4 a.m. that's gonna hurt <laughs> but as it was this morning I didn't I didn't notice one bit uh, the microwave is really complicated I just don't know how to get it to work I put my pasta in for 10 minutes it beeped I went back to it and, and it was as cold as I put it in so I don't understand the settings I don't understand microwaves in general, why you can't just have a go button, you know, put it in a time, make it go, why have all these crazy settings, it doesn't, doesn't make sense to me. So in the end it was an express setting which I could see was working so I just did that five times, so in two minute bursts I did my food, whatever. But apart from that, the bed was incredibly comfy pillows were really good it could be warmer in the room um, I've got that aircon on full and I can't feel a thing I really I always like it when there's a microwave I always like it when there's a fridge um, I like it when there is a little kitchenette thing going on toaster brilliant you know you know in, in some ways cool yeah let's have toast I'm not buying butter and bread you know just just for a, a morning morning breakfast if they supplied me with some butter that would have been just off the scale uh, location's okay it's a bit of a distance to get here but when you are here there's plenty of things on your doorstep we've done Battersea Park in a previous video um, that seems like a delight so and the Battersea Power Station looks like there's lots of things going on there including you know a posh little shopping mall so 50, 53 pounds for this on a Tuesday night. Hmm. I think I'm, I'll, I think I would. I think I would stay again because of the price, and um, because I think I'm prepared to give them the benefit of the doubt on that drip. So if I came again and we're looking at the same situation, then you reassess. But currently, currently I'm being driven sort of by my wallet and the, the lack of funds. Axiom Park Hotel. Never seen it before. Never seen it come up. So either they've just lowered their prices or they're new, but they can't be that new because of all the, you know, the work that needs to be done and everything needs a lick of paint. £53. It's the cheapest one for a while. Alright, I think it makes sense to kind of close up the video with a shot of the power station in the daylight, being as we've kind of looked at it a few times last night. So, um, yeah, so, so that was the stay at the Axiom Park Hotel in Battersea. So, it was interesting to say the least. Obviously, there were some issues with the room. Uh, with the drops and the curtains and the stupid microwave, but overall If that was taken away If that was all taken away, we, we found a bargain, you know, we have found a place that we can just come to All the time because it's affordable. We're not gonna do that Because that's boring. Why go to the same place all the time, but but overall Yeah, I'm not going to rate it. I'm just going to give it a, I'm going to let it slide. I'm going to put a pin in it. And we'll judge it properly if I ever come back. But, uh, but if you do stay here, or if you have stayed here, let me know in the comments and stuff. That's the first time I've ever requested a comment. 
because I'd be interested to know but okay I'm gonna I'm gonna jump I'm gonna go down there I'm gonna go on the tube get over to embankment and then on from there but thank you for watching um, tell your friends like and subscribe if you think they would even like any of this stupid stuff that I do I would like more subscribers I'm not I'm not I'm not pushing this very much but I think it'd be fun to see what happens if uh, if I get to a certain point I'm just interested in how YouTube works but anyway whatever do what you want I'm not your boss okay and with that and a final look at the, at the power station I will say goodbye and have a lovely day see you folks bye